Hey, how's your day? My motto here at Photo 911 has always been, your photo's the best they can be. So I'm going to take this picture of me from 2008 that my daughter took, go into Camera Raw V1601, and with a little bit of the new lens blur and some lighting, you can make your photos the best they can be. Make them look pro. Let's go. All right, the first thing we're going to do here is take this picture. Let's make a copy of it so we can compare later. Now, let's make it a smart object and go into Camera Raw. All right, here we go. Now, something looks a bit overexposed, so what you can do, hover over your histogram, right-click, and show Highlight Clipping Warning. And there it is. You can see that's clipping just a bit. So let's go into Light and Highlights and dial it back until these little dots disappear. There we go. Cool. Now, I want to separate myself from the background. And with the new lens blur, this is really cool. So hit Apply. And it'll sit and do its thing. It'll figure it out. Create a cool mask for you. Now, let's visualize what's going on with this. As you can see, I'm all in yellow and everything has got darker colors here. What that signifies is I'm in focus and the rest is slightly blurred. But if you zoom in, you can see a lot of my hair isn't cool. But what we'll do, we'll go over to Refine and we'll hit Focus. Now, let's make our brush probably just the right size and a little bit bigger there. And just go over it a bit. And it'll actually bring back the hair super accurately. Now, that's cool. And it separates you from the background. Now, if you make a mistake, go back over to Blur. And just blur that section out. Looking good. All right, now we're completely separated from the background with this new lens blur. It makes you pop out in the picture. What you can also do is you can test all the bokehs. Let's see what looks good. Maybe you don't need it. There's number two, number three, number four, number five. I'm really liking number three here. All right, now, even though the subject is popping out and your photo is starting to look really great, let's go up and create a background. Now, we've got the background mask, and the best thing to do, bring down the highlights a bit, and instead of bringing up the shadows, bring them down. So the background is a little bit darker. Let's work those highlights even bring down the exposure just a bit and the more you do that and go back and forth the more the subject pops out now you always want the subject to be looking good so let's go to the color and even bring the saturation of the colors down and as soon as you do that bam you're right out there and the subject is looking really great in your picture so now if you want, let's go up to the masks again and select people. It'll do its thing. Now let's grab everything. I might not use everything, but let's just grab it anyway. Hit create. What I want to do is I want to take my shirt and make it a little bit darker. So let's take the blacks and darken it up a bit. Wow, it looks richer that way. Now we'll scroll down. We'll go to the effects. Plus, I want to make it a little bit softer. So we'll bring down the texture and the clarity just a hair. Now it looks really great. Your subject is popping out from the background, which is what you want. So you can make any one of your pictures look real good and professional. So hit OK. Now let's go. Before, after. Before, after. You really stand out. I love this. 
Well, as you can see, it's a little bit of lens blur and some lighting and color. You can make your everyday photos the best they can be. Camera raw is not so scary. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. Yeah, well, break down hell. I'm Don from Photo911. See ya.